I was just, I've always been obsessed um, with delivery. I remember the first time I used Postmates and I got coffee delivered. And I just remember, like, I almost got goosebumps. It was just, it was the coolest thing that someone picked up my coffee and I was able to get it. It was just like that light bulb went off in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, someday we'll be able to get anything delivered that quickly. Uh, what we realized is, is really what was missing was this kind of really fast, really high volume, but really safe and ubiquitous uh, modality for moving things through cities. As we were talking to, to cities and companies, we realized there's already a really great model for this mass distribution of things through cities. If you think about water um, or electricity or even uh, sewage is kind of a weird one to think about, but it is, it's, it's moving things uh, through cities. Um, and we started pipe when we realized, you know, we, we could really borrow from, um, a, a lot of the wisdom that has been created, a lot of the learnings that has, uh, been learned from putting underground pipe in cities. We recognized that and said, you know, what we might be able to do is to take our public, um, take a large area of our city that happens to be a technology and research park already, take all the public roads inside of this technology park and turn it into a living laboratory. Every single delivery that is happening is potentially taking a car trip and removing it. Um, and, you know, that's congestion, that's, you know, emissions. You know, right now we're, we're working on uh, layouts for people doing automated curbside. So going from, you know, inside a grocery store to out in a parking lot. Um, now that we've we've proven we can do it, and um, we've proven that that we can do it efficiently, uh, now th we're going and um, starting other projects in in other cities for for other businesses.